Hi guys, welcome to the Soko Glam August Curation Update. So today we clearly have a special guest. Hello everyone. It's Joan. I don't know like 80% of them. Yeah. I have heard of the brands, but a lot of these are new. So I'll be learning as you guys are learning too. So. Yeah, and I think it's cool because you did tell me that you know one or two of them and yeah, like yeah, the yeah, backstory yes. behind it. So. Mm -hmm. We'll fuse my knowledge with your knowledge. Mostly Charlotte's <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> well, okay, we have a lot of amazing products to share with you guys, so can't wait to get started. Yay! So first, let's start with a new brand mm -hmm. to hit Soko Glam, and this is Pacific. Mm. I actually know this brand as Natural Pacific, because um, Eddie loved this brand. Oh. Yeah, he. Uh, we talked about the eye cream in one of oh, my best cream. of beauty videos. Oh, right Which here. Which we are curating. Yeah, he um, actually gave this eye cream an award. I think it was 2017. Oh wow! Um, but and it was called Natural Pacific. Pacific back then. And now, yeah, they did change the name to Pacific. Okay. And I and actually what. The reason why we started looking into this is that Chun oh, <laughs> is serum, known right? for using the serum. Oh. So all of you K-drama and Korean culture fans, uh -huh. Chun is a really famous actress right. in Korea. I love her. Her she's skin's like, like... I know. And she's like, I think 35 or something. Yeah, she just kids. looks amazing still. Yeah. And so it caught my eye because I'm a big fan of her. And I heard she uses a serum. Oh, okay. And so that's why we got our hands on this. And now it's finally cured to Silver Glam. Have you tried this eye I have. cream? Mm -hmm. So I can understand why Eddie likes this eye cream because first of all, the price points are really accessible. They're yes. like 20 to $30 mm -hmm. range. And this eye cream contains niacinamide. And niacinamide is a ingredient you may see a lot on your ingredient list. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really popular ingredient and it's because it's also called vitamin B3. Mm -hmm. It's really popular because it's great for sensitive skin types, but it does a lot of positive things for your skin. It helps um, uneven like skin tones. Mm -hmm. It also helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And this eye cream's main ingredient is niacinamide. So I like the fact it, uh, that it has also no um, no artificial fragrance. Yeah, it also has like a watery texture to it, so yeah. it's very easy to apply. And I know that this brand is, I believe, vegan. Yes. Yeah, and cruelty free. Vegan, cruelty free. They do really focus on just sensitive, friend skin friendly ingredients, mm -hmm. and um, also. You know, one thing is like on Soko Glam, Alencilia is one of our best selling eye creams these days. Oh, okay. But I feel like this could be like a really close second, or you know, I could see it or rising. Or it might to the even top. win. Oh, <laughs> you know. A best of K Beauty win? I, I don't, don't know. know. We'll see. <laughs> But yeah, so this is a, an all-around great eye cream. Like you mentioned, like Joan mentioned, very lightweight texture, mm -hmm. um, not too heavy, and the fragrance that it has is completely natural. Yes, and I think it got like mixed with the sunscreen smell. So I was like, why does it have a scent? But yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. doesn't have a scent. Last time I asked you in the curation video if you wanted us to curate more oil-based serums, mm -hmm. and you guys have unanimously said that you want more, so mm -hmm. I'm glad that this is coming in to give you guys more variety. You shake it before you use it, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. shake it, and then it contains, the main ingredient here is meadow foam, and that's a really great ingredient for anti-aging, has a host of antioxidants mm -hmm. that will really help um, just smooth, coat, and protect your skin. And you know oils in Korea are always so lightweight. There's very yeah. Di it's almost like watery. It doesn't feel like an oil. Yeah, and, and that's what I love about this serum. And mm. I think it's just a different take for serum, oil-based serums. It smells really good. Yeah, no artificial fragrances, all natural. natural. There's some essential oils in here oh, as okay. well. Wow. So you should tell Eddie about that. Pacific. Yes. yes. I think um, he also mentioned one of the essences or serums in the Best of Beauty Award. So he does oh. really like this brand. And yeah. that's how I am familiar with it. Yeah, I think if you guys have any suggestions for Pacific, please let us know mm. because we're just getting introduced to this brand mm -hmm. and we're gonna start off with two, but of course, if we hear your feedback, we might curate more. So next we'll talk about a brand that has been on our site for many, many years now. Yes. And is very loved by our community. It's called Benton. What does Benton stand for? Don't ask me. <laughs> I just found out today. So for... I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but mm -hmm. um, the movie Benjamin, Benjamin Button. Button. So it's like the aging. Yeah, you know how he like reverse yeah, ages, yeah, yeah. so he becomes younger. So they use that whole idea and uh -huh. merge the two names together to create Benton. Benton. I had no idea. 
Yeah. I Isn't was it, like laughing outside because it's so like cute. cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I notice a lot of Korean brands, they like to merge names together. Like they, yeah. just, they like to mix words together. Like every Korean drama has a shortened version yeah. of like the Like like, what was that? Oh yeah, Undapara. Yeah. 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 I love that. Yeah, but I was like, what are you talking about? Or like Mid. Recently I learned Mid and that stands for Miguk drama. So like American oh, dramas, they call it Mid. So. I love learning about those it's things. It's so interesting, but yeah. I'm like, I need to know, like, can you give me like a preview of what <laughs> they are? Because I learned so many at once. So now you learn something new. Benjamin Button is Benton. Benton. Yes. <laughs> we have three also exciting products from Benton. Mm -hmm. um, you guys know I love them because they formulate the products really well with really high percentages mm -hmm. of the best part of the formula. Mm -hmm. So for example, if it's an aloe cream, it really does have like 40% aloe in it yeah. versus like 1% or yeah. 0 0.009. So they have really great prices too. So it's super accessible. Um, this aloe hyaluron cream is newly produced by Benton because their whole aloe line just does so well. I'm sure you guys are aware of the soothing gel, the mm -hmm. aloe soothing gel. That does, it's like one of our best sellers mm -hmm. in terms of moisturizers. And then Benton also has the whole um, snail bee line, which yes. has like hundreds of reviews on our site. But anyway, I'm so glad they have this option because the soothing gel is great for oily skin types in the summer, but you know, this is a cream mm -hmm. that you could use for more dry skin types and mm. people that little, need a little bit of oils and nourishment in their skin. Right, I, I would actually prefer this over the gel type because I have dry skin. Same. Um, I love aloe. Um, I had really bad acne at one point and I tried a lot of different aloe products mm -hmm. in Korea and actually um, Nature Republic had yeah. that really affordable. Yeah, I used to like apply a thick layer before I went to sleep yeah. and um, aloe vera, it's like deep, you know, it's like, like we have a good hydration. relationship because oh. it really helped um, uh, soothe. calm my skin, yeah, mm -hmm. soothe, and it really helps with like redness too. So. Yeah, I agree. And this also contains hyaluronic acid. So mm -hmm. aloe plus hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, it's a great combo. Yeah. And um, we also have the hand cream. So I don't know if you remember, we curated the Benton um, coconut hand cream mm -hmm. in the past. It's like shea butter and coconut. And so that was well received, but we decided to shake things up. And so that's no longer on our site and we curated another hand cream. Mm -hmm. And this is part of the shea butter line and it includes olive oil. Okay. So the shea butter is 10% and it's Eco Cert certified. Um, and also it's just like lighter weight than the other hand cream. So it's suitable for all seasons. I would mm -hmm. say the other one was really, really thick. So if you guys are looking for a lightweight hand cream for all seasons, this is a good one. And then we've got the hydrogel eye patches. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one because you told me how environmental friendly it is. Yes, mm. I think top of mind, I've been talking to everyone at like Silco House, they come in, they're like, hey, are, are brands being more like eco-friendly mm. or sustainable conscious? And I think that that's definitely top of mind when we curate. Yeah. Um, and this has really caught our eye because it basically is biodegradable. Yeah, so cool. These eye patches are made with seaweed. Mm -hmm. And in 80 degrees Celsius water, it can actually dissolve. So, yeah, the, the tip that I read from Benton is that you could mix this with water, mm -hmm. use it as a mist. Yeah, so so it has all these skin benefit ingredients like seaweed extracts, hyaluronic acid, and snail secretion filtrate, mm -hmm. which is so great for hydration. So. Um, yeah, apparently <laughs> you can put it underneath your eyes, obviously, and then even like smile lines. Smile lines. Um, and then a tip that Benton shared with us is that mm -hmm. you could put two of these in a little like water spritzer, mm -hmm. put a little bit warm water, and then use it as just like a nice hydrating mist. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I thought that was really cool that they gave that tip. I love products that have more than one purpose. Yeah, and I love that. <laughs> Look at how ridiculous I look. No, but I, I'm getting moisturized as yeah. we do this video. Yeah. And I overall, like I'm noticing you guys are asking for more sheet masks in like tubs, mm. like sheet masks in a box with like 30 pack, you know? Yeah. It, it is more eco-friendly. And I've been talking to like Mediheal, we just recently curated. Oh yeah. You need to curate the heating eye mask from Mediheal. From Mediheal. Oh. They have like cute characters on it. Um, I cannot 
go on an airplane without the really? heated mask. Okay, I mean, I've never heard of that. It doesn't have to be from Mediheal, but I love those. Oh, interesting. Yeah. No, I love Medi After we launched Mediheal, you guys have shared you love that curation, mm -hmm. and a lot of people recognize the brand, obviously, because it's like the number BTS. one. <laughs> it's also the number one sheet mask. Yeah, right? it is, but <laughs> BTS is all over that store. They right. have a store in Myeongdong, and I walked in, and I was like, wow. Yeah, they, they play all the BTS tracks, and I was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's huge globally, right? So yes. like that was such a smart partnership. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I think many overall, like they're just great quality products for such a affordable mm. price. And so I'm down to curate more from them. So yeah. let me know if you have any more. It's also very innovative. I don't know if you saw the ones that come in the capsules. Where they have the sheet oh, mask inside. That's what I plan to keep. Oh, you that, mean the heart? Yes, and it's like pink, green, and blue. We're, <laughs> we're, we are planning to carry September. <laughs> yeah, I think um, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I'm being very vocal to all the brands mm -hmm. and telling them like. People love eco-friendly options, yeah. and the reason why I brought up Mediheal is because they told me that they were trying to figure out how to be more eco-friendly mm -hmm. as well. So I, I'm glad it's part of the conversation. Yes, I know it's better than not considering mm -hmm. the environment at all. So mm -hmm. I do appreciate brands who are mm -hmm. moving forward and working on environmental friendly, eco-friendly, vegan, cruelty-free, all of that. Yeah. Um, it's very important. Yeah. Oh, when one random thought. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> China is is releasing some information these days about being more cruelty free. Oh. So that obviously in the beauty industry, everyone knows that China has like the strictest mm. laws of uh, animal testing, and so apparently they're making steps oh, towards eliminating some of those restrictions or some of those testings. Mm. So I'm excited. Yeah. We're getting there. Solved. It will solve all your skincare <laughs> problems. That's what Charlotte just told me. Yeah, I like the name because yeah. it really is, really is to the point. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone here has a goal in mind for their skincare concerns. So mm -hmm. this is a perfect name. Yeah, I love the red. Yeah. Red's my favorite color. Oh, interesting. And I'm noticing it's coconut water, hibiscus, and rose hip. So good for skin like mine because I have dry skin and sensitive. Yeah. And I've been actually trying out a few rosehip oils because Ooh. I have acne scars. Same here. So please tell me about this toner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I introduced it. No, yeah, you introduced Oops. it because you know the basics. But mm. yeah, I love Solve because they really do care about their ingredients. They infuse a lot of natural ingredients and they make it really work well for your skin. Mm. So you guys know about the coconut cleansing pads. I love them. Um, same thing with their cleansing foam. It's so luxurious. This toner has 75% coconut water and they infuse Egyptian hibiscus into the coconut water. And many of you have shared that you're concerned about coconut being put on your skin. Oh yeah. But I think that now misconception mm -hmm. is cleared because it really depends on how it's formulated. Coconut extract and water can be super great for your skin mm -hmm. as long as it's formulated to be on your skin. Right. Not just putting raw coconut oil oh, on no. your face. <laughs> no. yeah. So it's totally different and that's why I stand by the coconut ingredient mm -hmm. infused in these products, 75% coconut water. And it's just really great for making your skin very hydrated and also just improving the unevenness of your skin right. color and overall just great for anti-aging. Mm. Um, and what's unique about this toner also is I love the pH. Oh, 4.5. 4. 4. Yeah, yes. and our our skin is naturally 4.5, 5.5, so it's very gentle. Mm -hmm. And um, I like what's inside. You can see what's inside. This is hibiscus, right? Yes, it is hibiscus, and it's from Egypt. And mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Solved, and they told me that they sourced the hibiscus essence extracts themselves, and they fused it into the coconut water. Wow. So they take a very hands-on approach for their formulation. Oh, that's good. I'm also noticing a lot of hibiscus in Korean beauty these days. Oh. Uh, like Mamongdu has like a whole line of hibiscus. It yeah. must be, yeah, I think it is like a very trending ingredient. Mm. Um, I would say so. It's like mugunga. Yeah, the mugunga is the national flower of Korea. See, you taught me something new. <laughs> I didn't know what the Korean national flower is. Mugunga, it's in the yeah. national anthem. Oh well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Learning something new every day. The next brand we would love to share with you is something called Comb Leaf. Comb Leaf. Yeah. And it is a brand that we got really intrigued about because it's not like a huge brand where everyone mm -hmm. in Korea knows it, but it's an up and coming brand that is really focused on sustainable packaging oh. and eco friendliness. Kom leaf. Yeah, is that's the Korean it. way. I'm sure Koreans would say it that way. Yeah, I've never heard of this brand. Yeah, it is new. It is a new, relatively new brand. Mm -hmm. um, but again, so many people in the U.S. are so interested in cruelty-free, vegan-friendly mm -hmm. formulas. So we are 
providing this for you guys. And also packaging. Yes, yeah, so everything, if you if you actually see the boxes that it comes in, it's 100% soy ink, and mm -hmm. they just use sustainable oh, resources like as much as they can. So you're holding the cleansing balm. Yes. And it's actually, open it up. It's It has this natural green color to it. It's made completely with natural pigments from herbs and flowers. Mm -hmm. um, and it smells it, herbally. It is very herbal fragrance. The whole team love this cleansing mm -hmm. balm and um, it's really lightweight texture. It, it emulsifies perfectly. So if you're looking for cruelty-free natural mm -hmm. cleansing balm, this is your guy. And you also said that this is um, a lot of people who have oilier skin types prefer this cleansing balm, right? Yep, yep, definitely. Okay. And then another great product for oily skin types. This or is... we should go with the okay. water-based cleanser after oh, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't you know the double cleanse? I was so excited about the body. <laughs> Wait oh, a what minute. What is the double cleanse? <laughs> So let's talk about the Rice Purifying Foam Cleanser. Uh, it is a nice pH of 5.5, which is great for sensitive skin, and it also has rice water extract and glycerin. So overall, I had a great experience with the entire double cleanse oh. routine from Kongli. It's, it's approved by Charlotte Cho. You are and the, the double cleansing queen. So I'm curious. Yeah, no, it was really good. The mm. team especially loved these products oh, overall. Okay. And finally, we have yes. the oil blotting papers. And I really like this because when you open it up, they look like green tea bags. Yeah, right? and it's actually made with green tea powder. percent yeah, yeah, green tea powder, which I thought was so intriguing, and mm -hmm. then hemp pulp. Yes. So like we're that. both dry, I mean, yeah, we're both dry skin types, so mm -hmm. we're not a major blotter. Mm -hmm. But there have been people who have asked for more blotting paper options. Mm -hmm. I actually like using um, powders before I film because I don't mm. want to look um, too oily. dewy. Oh. I, I mean, I'm not oily, but yeah, people yeah. think that I look oily because of all the moisturizing products <laughs> I put onto my face. Um, so I usually always have like a blotting paper or a powder. Okay. Like I have my powder on the okay. floor right now. Oh, yeah. okay. In the packaging. So maybe you should try this out. Let us know yeah. what you think. It also, <laughs> it also smells like green tea. Miso, right? Yeah. Kind of? Yeah, it does. It, it does. does. I actually didn't notice that. I just mm -hmm. thought it was really cool that this is 95% green tea um, powder and the pulp, the from hemp. Like, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's the product. Okay, right? You can take this home with you thank so you, you can use it every time you feel too dewy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> too dewy. Is there even such thing? <laughs> Last but not least, we have sheet, sheet masks. Mask. So this is the brand Aquel. Aquel in Korean. Yeah, she does the Korean pronunciation <laughs> very well. And you, you all know that we love the licorice pH balance yes. toner. I <laughs> love that toner. Do you use it to remove your makeup and tone, or do you use it to just tone? I don't use it to remove my makeup. It's a real, it's a cleansing toner, so you can. Oh, like a, the cleansing water. Yeah, it's like from Benton. Yeah, I use that, that one is like that one's purely cleansing water mm -hmm. from Benton, but the. the the licorice toner? pH toner is you can remove makeup and you can tone. Oh. It's like multitasking product. I like that. Yeah. But I, it's like one of my favorite toners because it's so gentle and hydrating at the same time. And it then, has a licorice extract. Yes. Super brightening for the skin. And then you guys have a mist now. Yeah, the essence mist. So, and now the sheet mask. And now sheet mask. So we actually curated a bunch of Aqua sheet masks previously, but then mm. those got discontinued. As oh. you know in K-Beauty, there's so many like amazing products that get discontinued, but they right. created new ones. Mm -hmm. So I tried them out and I loved it. There's so many varieties for your skin. The purifying sheet mask it has a cooling effect to it, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Um, the brown packaging, super thick clear mask. The licorice. Yeah, that has licorice extract in it and it's black and creamy, so really moisturizing for dry mm. skin types. So yeah, Call Me sheet mask, it's pink because of the calamine in it and Moisture. the pennywort. And the moisture, yeah, it has the typical like hydrating oh. ingredients. But a lot of varieties for different skin types. I hope you guys like it. You know, Aquel does really good with their formulation. So I had a great time using these mm. and more sheet masks and varieties for you guys to enjoy. Yes. So that's the end of the Soka Glen curation video. Thank you so much, Joan, for being part of it. Thank you for having me. I was a bit nervous because I didn't know a lot, but I feel like I learned so much about the products. And you actually taught me a few things too. Hibiscus. Yes, did I? <laughs> the national flower. No, and Pacific. Like I didn't know the products before they changed their name. Oh yeah. So, so Natural Pacific is now in Pacific. But honestly, I always trust Charlotte's um, skincare recommendations because I know that she takes a long time to curate things onto the website. So the whole team gets involved. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. So thank you for yeah. having me thank and you. teaching me. And if you me. want to check out Joan's channel, 
It will make you want to live and work or stay in Korea forever because she goes to all the best spots. So have a jolly day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.